Jacob and his family, how the Lord keeps his promises. Jacob left his home to escape his angry brother Esau. Jacob's father blessed him to find and marry a woman who loved the Lord and kept his commandments. While Jacob traveled, the Lord visited him in a vision. He promised to always be with Jacob. Jacob promised to give the Lord a tenth of all he received. The Lord promised Jacob that he would have many children. Through Jacob's children, the families of the earth would be blessed to know the Savior. Jacob's family in the latter days is called the House of Israel. Jacob traveled to a land called Haran. There he fell in love with a righteous woman named Rachel. Jacob agreed to work seven years for her father Laban, if Laban would allow him to marry Rachel. Laban agreed. Jacob worked for seven years. But Laban wanted Leah, his oldest daughter, to be married first. During the wedding, Laban tricked Jacob and had him marry Leah instead. But Jacob loved Rachel. He promised to work another seven years if he could also marry her. Laban agreed and Jacob's family began to grow. Laban did not pay Jacob fairly, but the Lord blessed Jacob with many animals and told Jacob to go back home. On his way home, Jacob learned that his brother Esau and 400 men were coming to meet him. Jacob thought Esau might still be angry at him. Jacob feared for the safety of his family, so he took them to a safe place and prayed. Jacob prayed all night and into the morning. The Lord visited Jacob and blessed him. The Lord told Jacob that he would be a great leader to many. The Lord changed Jacob's name to Israel. Soon Esau and his men found Jacob and his family. Esau was no longer angry with Jacob. He ran to meet Jacob and hugged him. He was very happy to see him and meet his family. Jacob was happy to see Esau again too. The Lord kept his promises to Jacob throughout his life. Jacob arrived home with his family and settled there. From then on, Jacob was called Israel and his family were called Israelites. He continued to keep the commandments and worship the Lord.